Well, I began updating some websites that I maintained for myself and for my businesses, and I realized along the way that I'd let some items out of a series of fundamental steps that I always take when I launch a website. Of course, some of the original sites were in great shape, but others needed to be added to Google or Bing or Yahoo. And I decided that it would be great to share with you how I go about the process. It may seem a little technical in places, but I believe that a good range of viewers will really learn something of value here. So if you're a business owner, for example, you want to see why your web company is doing things, or even if they're doing all the right things, or if you're a web developer uh, reviewing my personal bag of tricks, I hope you enjoy a preview of what will be included in my book called The Strategic Internet. Now, uh, first thing I want to talk about is my own personal workflow. I'm just going to give a disclaimer here because not everybody works this way. For me, I really need a very visual cue of what I'm up to. And the reason is because I know I can be interrupted at any time. And, and usually what I'm working on has too many steps uh, for me to be able to remember exactly where I was in the process when I get back to it. So I use the program you're seeing on your screen now. It's called Mind Manager. And that's not necessarily an endorsement. It's just what I find easy. So I always start by updating the file that you're looking at. It's a file that lists all of my websites. I develop some new sites from time to time usually to uh, target specific services that my company is adding. And here's a new one that I uh, just added recently called localreviewmanagementservice.com. And in this site and any other site, aside from uh, great relevant content, which should always be the most important issue, the other, thing that, uh, the other two things that I want to do is first make sure that I'm able to track who's coming to that website through uh, a program called Google Analytics, and I'll show you how we uh, put that in. And the second thing is that the viewer is actually able to find the website because it's listed in the search engine. So we'll show you both. I'm going to just use Google, although there's a, a process that's very similar for Bing and Yahoo. It would be redundant to show you all three. So let's start with Google. And the first part of that is going to be to show you Google Analytics. So uh, let me go uh, my browser, and I'm just going to copy the name of this website here, which is Local Review Management Service. Go to my Google Analytics. Uh, this is my master account. It has all of my non-client websites. So I have other accounts in Google that have uh, uh, various websites that I maintain for clients. This one's just my, uh, my own business, my own personal. So here I am going to add a new website. So I click on Add New Profile, and it's a new domain that I have already copied in the clipboard called localreviewmanagementservice.com. I don't need that last slash. And uh, hit continue. And what happens is Google will now assign me a code. And this code, uh, you see uh, here on your screen where it says tracking not installed, this code is called a tracking code. So what I'm going to do is I'm copying it. I'm going to select it all, copy. I use a program called uh, Dreamweaver. In order to uh, manage updating HTML, uh, there's a lot of choices out there. Uh, I like Dreamweaver because I have all of the Adobe programs, and it's just easy for me to go from one to the other. But use whichever one you want, or, uh, or if you're a business owner and you just want to know how this works, hire somebody to do it, and now you'll know how much work it is. Uh, basically, I've already set up this page uh, to uh, have a place where I'm going to paste that code. So you see where it's begin Google Analytics code. I'm just going to paste it in, and then I'm going to select that file to save and upload. And I have a pretty good connection to the Internet, so it's, it's going to wait for the server for a second, and then it's going to connect and, uh, and save this file. Let's uh, see how long it takes, because I am recording this. I might edit this part. All right, so it's now saved and uploaded that file to the website. I'm just going to verify that. Uh, I'm going to go back to the website and refresh it. And now I'm going to look at the code to make sure I see it in there. So um, here we are. Begin Google Analytics code. Okay, so now I know that it's there. I'll go uh, back to Google. And um, where it says tracking not installed, I'll try it. It might take a minute or two. So if, if, uh, if it's still giving us a, that error, 
Uh, I'm not going to uh, uh, edit the tape so that you can see it. It's, it's up there I've, and we've confirmed it. Let's go back to the settings, find that website, which uh, is right down here. It should be. That star means, uh, that little caution sign means that uh, it's not seeing the tracking. But uh, let's see if we can find it. I'm going to go to edit the profile and check the status. And the analytics has been successfully installed. And uh, so now that's all really we have to do for the uh, Google Analytics. Then uh, you can go back at some later time. Now this is a website that already exists. You can go back at some other time and you can uh, see how many people have come to the site, uh, where they came from, uh, what pathway they took through the site. And that's important so that you know uh, how effective your content is. Um, the next thing I'd like to show you is uh, getting your site listed in the search engines is really not just a matter of uh, indicating to the search engine that you have a site. Usually the search engine wants to see a specific file, and that file is uh, called a sitemap. And then the search engine will, uh, since it will know where that is once you register it, uh, it'll go back periodically and see if your website has been updated. And that saves the search engine the time of having to analyze your entire site every single time it visits it. So it's important that you set this up the right way. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go to a section of Google called Webmaster Tools. This is a totally different area than analytics. Um, I'm going to add a site. Uh, let's just make sure we get the correct thing in there. So I'll go back and copy that and put it in localreviewmanagementservice.com and hit continue. And um, actually, I had taken this site off of my list previously. That's why you're seeing that there is a sitemap there. But I just wanted to explain that the reason that it's important to go through Google Webmaster and uh, manage your sitemap is so that Google will find it easier and look more often. So right now, it, it found it earlier today before I made this recording. Here's the location of that file. Um, and it'll uh, Google will go back periodically and, and make sure that uh, the site is um, indexed with all the latest pages. So uh, again, I think that um, uh, for some folks, this may have been a little bit on the technical side, uh, but I wanted to make sure that you had an idea of the correct steps to take to make sure your site's listed in the search engines and to make sure you can tell how many people are uh, finding your site online. If you've got any questions about this process or even about the production of this video, just give me a call on the number listed on the screen. I'd be happy to talk to you about it. And thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation.